I think I'm live. I can't tell what's going on here. Yes. Okay. We're live. And it's very interesting. There we go. Hello. Let's see if I can even see some comments. Okay, guys, I'm going to talk to you today about how to create a faith statement because a lot of people have been reaching out to me saying that they don't trust the universe right now or that they don't know how they could possibly trust the universe right now. And so I'm going to give a breakdown of what it means to trust the universe at this time. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. Hi guys. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna give a lesson from the universe has your back. It's a lesson on how to strengthen your faith at this time. And a lot of people have been saying that they don't feel as though they can trust the universe right now. Or they've asked me, Gabby, how could I trust the universe right now? This is, this is one of my favorite practices. It's from uh, the chapter, The Universe Speaks in Mysterious Ways. It's one page 120 in The Universe Has Your Back. If you're reading the hardcover uh, or the paperback, I believe the page numbers would be the same. Um, here we go. Okay, everybody's joining on Facebook. We're joining on Instagram. Thank you. If anyone has been feeling as though they don't know how to, to lean into their faith at this time, just give me a high five and just let me know that's where you're at or just say yes. Um, and it's not that we, you know, I think people are, I just have been getting a ton of DMs from people saying, I, how could I trust the universe right now? How can I strengthen my faith right now? I feel out of control right now. I don't know where my spiritual faith lies. I don't know what my spiritual connection means to me at this time. And I want to dive in with a method from the universe has your back, give you the breakdown of the method and offer this to you now. Okay, so here we go. From the universe has your back. Here we go. As long as you remain surrendered and committed to the highest good, everything you need will be shown to you. And this is step four in the universe speaks in mysterious ways on page 120. Heighten your faith. The next step in co-creating with the universe is to create a faith statement. This exercise begins with a question. What would your life be like if you knew you were always being guided? Take out your notebook, write down the answer. What would your life be like if you knew you were always being guided? Take a moment to free write your response. So you can return to this video and practice this, but I'm gonna break down the lesson. So you're gonna ask yourself at the top of the page in your journal, what would my life be like if I knew I was always being guided? And then you're going to free write, just let your pen flow, write, 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 put it on the page, let it go. What would you do differently if you knew that the universe had your back? So what would you do differently? Would you pick up the phone and, and ask for that support that you knew you needed? Would you relax and trust that things were working out for you and not harass people to show you that they are? Would you, you know, let go of the rope a little bit more? How would you act differently? If you knew that the universe had your back and you really believed in that faith, would you fear less and, and trust more? Just ask yourself that question. Do you have spiritual proof that the universe is in fact guiding you? So what I refer to as spiritual proof is whenever I notice the signs show up in my life or the synchronicities that occur, or whenever I feel as though there's a sense, a sense of safety, even if I don't have the experience around me being necessarily perfect, but I still sense that connection. So even if you've had one moment of spiritual connection in your life, I want you to write about it because that's the faith that we're going to build upon is that experience. So I said, feel the faithful energy that, it, okay, so it says, do you have a spiritual proof that the universe is in fact guiding you? Write your story. If you don't have proof yet, you will by the time you complete this book, well, you may want to pick out the book, um, and feel free to revisit this lesson later. But, but I believe if you're watching me right now that there's been a moment of spiritual faith because I don't think that if you didn't have some mustard seed of hope or a belief that there is a chance that you could feel faithful that you'd be even watching this right now. So feel the faithful energy that this story ignites. So maybe it's a story of how the universe presented you a sign or maybe it's a story of like a wild synchronicity that occurred in your life. Or maybe it's a story of a peace coming over you. And feel the faithful energy that this story ignites. 
If you don't have your own spiritual proof, it's fine to lean on someone else's story or any of the stories in this book. So if you've watched my you know, Super Soul Sessions talk, you can see countless stories of spiritual proof. If you've read any of my books, there's countless stories of spiritual proof. And so you can lean on somebody else's story right now because that story is recognition that that is available to you as well, okay? Um, take a few moments to tap into the feelings of the faith that these stories ignite. How does it feel to be in faith? So that's the next step. You want to keep writing. What does your faith give you the freedom to do or be? What does your faith give you the freedom to do or be? You're going to have to come back to this video or go to this page 120 and practice this step, okay? Now let's create a faith statement. And this is something that's really important to me. My faith statement is a guiding force in my life. So let's create a faith statement. This statement helps you access your commitment to the universe and to positive co-creation of your life. The goal is to make a faith statement that ignites a feeling of love, connection, and inspiration within you. This statement can be whatever you want it to be. My faith statement is, I know that the universe is an ever-present energy of love. I know that when I align with the energy of love through thoughts, actions, and beliefs, I am giving infinite support and guidance. I know that I can co-create my reality with this loving presence so that I can live, enjoy, and spread light. So I know that the universe is an ever-present energy of love. And I know that it's within me and around me. I know it's supporting me. I know it's speaking through me right now in this moment. I know this to be true. And knowing this and strengthening this faith and really deepening this faith is what is allowing me to be grounded in the feeling of knowing that all is well no matter what. Okay, reading this statement out loud moves me. It does. It deeply moves me. And that's the goal. With a faith statement that moves you from your core, use some of what you've already written down in your response above and write a statement that locks you into a heart-centered state of faith in the universe. Write your faith statement and don't edit a word. Write down whatever comes out. Don't judge what comes out and don't try to make it perfect. Just let it flow. You can always expand upon your faith statements. You don't feel stuck in what you write. So let me just drive home the practice here and keep it really simple. So if you have a pen and paper, here you go, write it down. Write at first, answer this question. What would your life be like if you knew you were always being guided? Some people can answer, oh, someone's saying they read this chapter yesterday and created their faith statement. Amazing, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh my God, I love you guys. I've got so many comments on Facebook and you guys are going crazy here. Okay, I love you. Then the second step, step is to, you know, free write your response to that question, which is what would your life be like if you knew you were always being guided? Answering the next question, what would you do differently if you knew that the universe had your back? What would you do differently? Would you, would you, you know, pick up that, that hobby that you've been denying? and work on creating a career out of it, what would you do differently? The next step is about accessing spiritual proof. So this is where I want you to really dive into your spiritual archives of all the experiences that you've had and, and write a little bit, riff a little bit about what it means to watch the universe in action, to witness in the awe of what's going on in your life. There's something that I've been talking about or thinking about for years, but never did anything about because I just didn't feel that it was the time and was getting an intuition that it was coming. And then a girlfriend just randomly called me and said, I think you should do this thing. And then it's like, oh yeah, that sounds interesting. And then letting that that thing be so, so not being attached in any way to it and just allowing it to unfold and having the inspiration to move forward on it and then trusting that it's going to let land in every step of the way. That is a testament to my faith that, you know, do, do nothing and let the universe show you what to do. And then when you get that direction from the universe, take it. Okay. Uh, I've had a lot of intuitive guidance at, during this period because I've strengthened my spiritual practice and faith now more than ever. And I want you to do the same. And then when you write down what that 
moment of spiritual proof looked like for you. I want you to feel into it. What does it feel like to just be in the awe-inspiring experience of witnessing the universe at work? What does that feel like to you? Pretty major. And then what does your faith give you to the freedom to be or do? What does your faith give you the freedom to be or do? My faith gives me the freedom to be relaxed. My faith gives me the freedom to be in gratitude and appreciation. My faith gives me the freedom to be creative because I'm not trying to force or control. My faith gives me the freedom to sleep well at night. My faith gives me the freedom to be a good mother, to be a good wife, to be a impactful teacher. So what are the ways that your faith gives you the freedom to do or be? And now let's create your faith statement. And you can go back and revisit some of what you wrote in the answers. You can be inspired by those responses and then just riff. Get your pen and paper on the page and just riff. Let that faith statement come through. It could be anything like, <clears throat> I have faith that the universe is showing me signs that I'm on the right track. I have faith that uh, what I need is on the way. My faith require, my faith means to me that there is an ever-present energy of love around me, within me, guiding me, supporting me, showing me where to go, what to do. So what does your faith mean to you? And that faith statement will change and develop and grow as time goes on because we don't always, we grow our spiritual practice. We strengthen our faith. You know, in two weeks, I'm going to launch a uh, meditation challenge. I guarantee that after the 21 days of that meditation challenge, you will be writing a totally different faith statement then than you've written now. So giving yourself the practice of just strengthening your faith and believing more and more, it's going to change you. So that's page 121 of the universe, 120 and 121 of the universe has your back. Go write your faith statement. I hopped into this morning a um, a, universe, a universe has your back book club. I'm sorry, if I'm looking up and down. I'm looking at two different screens so that I can talk to as many people as possible at the same time, you know, who knew? So, oh, people are writing their faith statements in here. Oh my God, let me read some. My faith gives me the freedom to be confident. Oh, I'm losing. My faith, my taking positive action in our part, okay. But my faith gives me um, love and kindness to, to all beings. My faith gives me joy to lean into my purpose. Nice one. My faith enables me to stay mindful and creative. What are you guys saying? Freedom to be patient and trust. I just started reading the book and it's already changed me. Good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Um, so I was in this Universe Has Your Back book club this morning and, you know, they were I, they were asking about relationships and romantic relationships. And I was like, just go to the chapter about universal assignments and practice that chapter. And then, you know, because the entire book, it, the universe has your back. The subtitle is transform fear to faith. So every chapter in this book is about reorganizing those fear-based belief systems that are holding you back from living faith. Uh, this is the best book to read before you read Super Attractor because once you clean house and you start to strengthen your faith, then you can go start super attracting. So not that you have to read them in any specific order, but that, that would be helpful. So I'm saying my faith gives me the strength to be a better person or just um, faith over fear for me. I get to see the divine and all I come into contact with today. So I want to, yes, guys, my faith invites wellness, creativity, and grace into my life. Marie, Marianne is saying, what does it feel like if you know these things, but you still don't know what you want? Well, you've got the most important step, my love, which is to have faith. When you have faith, you can let inspiration show you what to do, show you where to go. Just be in that daily prayer of, Thank you, universe, for revealing to me what you would have me do. Now, I, I say every single day, I wake up and I say, how would you use me? And I just am given direction and clarity and energy and inspiration. When I have something I'm concerned about, I just give it to the universe and say, you figure this out. You figure this out. Listen, you know, we're in a, a, a pandemic and I want to conceive a child, right? And then I'll still be running a business. And I have, you know, I have 
another child at home and all these, these worries. And I said to my husband, I'm so worried that, that about being pregnant and getting pregnant and, and once I'm pregnant, how will I manage everything if I'm nauseous? And, you know, I just had to get it out. Right. And then he said, well, what does your faith say? And my faith, my faith is that the baby's going to come at the right time. My faith is that I will be given the support and the resources that I need. My faith is that there's no accident in timing and that the universe is guiding me every step of the way. So it's sometimes okay to acknowledge the fear and then come back to your faith. I don't want you just using your faith statement to push down your fears. That's not going to help you. That's going to actually make you more mad. So feel the fear, acknowledge the fear, ask a loved one or a friend to hold you in your experience. And if you have a partner or a friend, you want to create and establish a relationship with them where you can just say how you're feeling and they don't say, you're fine, you're okay, you're going to work it out. You want to let them say, wow, I can really understand how difficult that could be. Because when you're in that fear-based part of your brain, you can't get into the faithful solution. You have to let it out. So whether you journal it, whether you speak it, you want to get it out. And by getting it out, then you've released it, you've been held, you've been honored in that experience. That's when you can reach for faith. So don't just throw faith over the problem. Experience the problem and then reconnect to your faith statement. Get it out and then get back home, okay? There's a lot in this. This is a major, major practice. Uh, I would love to have all of you continue to post your faith statements in these, in these comments because you even putting it out there is claiming it's true to you. And that's, that's magnificent. So just, just get it out onto the page. If you're feeling like you're really lacking faith, go back to page 120 of universe. The universe has your back <clears throat> and do this exercise again. <clears throat> or come back to this video and follow the steps that I've given you. Continue to come back to faith and come back to faith and come back to faith. Uh, but allow yourself to be present in the feelings and then return back to faith. This is a very big one, my friends. I hope it supports you and guides you and leads you in the right direction. Share this video if it has helped you. If you have people in your world that you think need more support in their faith, um, stay tuned. I'm going to be announcing my meditation challenge in two weeks so that we can do something together and really, really go through a journey together. So let's, let's stick it to this together. Let's strengthen our faith together. Let's come back to pages like this. Keep, people and friends and teachers who make you feel connected and feel good and stick to the plan, which is to show up with faith no matter what. That's where we're at right now. That's what's required of us right now. I love you guys. Keep posting your faith statements here. I want to see them all. Okay.